So my name's Fernando, I'm from Austin, Texas. Uh, hope everyone's had a good time so far at the session uh, and the workshops. I'm gonna go over using the fake client for your unit test. So if you have a Kubernetes uh, application that you wrote that accesses certain uh, server components, you can go ahead and uh, mock and write unit tests for the specific calls that are made to Kubernetes. I'm gonna go over that. Um, so first of all, what is the fake client? So the fake client is a Kubernetes client that responds back with the items that you provide to it. And it's backed by a very simple object tracker. And this object tracker, uh, all it does is it just returns back the items, doesn't have any validators, doesn't have any defaults. Um, it's part of the Go client uh, library. So if you go to the Kubernetes Go client, you can find it there. There is uh, a Go client, um, a fake client implementation. And what it does is it implements the client set interface. So what it does is it uh, kind of mocks out all the functions that the regular client set would have. And, and it provides, um, you know, create, um, replace, destroy functions. So, and the benefits are that it makes Kubernetes uh, uh, functions really easy to mock out. Uh, it makes unit tests really easy. Um, and I have an example of this for you. So. So I actually put up a, a, QR, a QR code, and here's my GitHub that you can go and access it. And it's available in the scheduled uh, presentation notes. So I'll go over. So pretty much here's a function that I wrote called get secrets. And what it does is it accepts a client set, which is a Kubernetes uh, interface. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna return a map that has the key of the secrets name and in it, it's gonna have another map that has the key and value pairs within the secret. So here's the main.go that's calling it. So client set uses a new for config, and it passes in the cube config. So in this example, I'll show you with minikube. And then we, we set the secret map to equal secrets.getSecrets, and we are gonna get all the secrets on the default uh, namespace. And here we wrote, uh, we have the unit test. So what we're doing is instead of using the regular client set, the real one, we're actually using the, the fake client set. So what we can do is we can generate the first secret programmatically and a second secret programmatically. And then what we do is we call the create function and now when we call the get secrets function, which we wrote that returns a map of all the secrets, we can actually assert if certain uh, values are, are in the map. So that helps us test out uh, our function that we wrote. And I can do a quick little demo. I don't know how much time I have, but let's see, hopefully it's working, okay. Okay, so I created a secret there. And now if I run my application, you can see that all the secret information is provided and printed out. So, and then I can go ahead and test it out, run my unit test, and everything's okay. So, uh, that's pretty much it for the talk. Uh, you can go ahead on the GitHub and check it out. Let me. Take it. And yeah, thank you. Thanks, everybody.